What's your favorite skibbity toilet video? Can we not do this? What? What's your problem? OMG, skibbity toilet? Apparently, skibbity toilet is the new hotness for Gen Alpha. They, um, it's, it's a trending genre of video on YouTube from Source Filmmaker where a, a head pops out of the toilet and then sings like a, a variety of songs, one of which I believe is, is Gangnam Style. Is that true? I hate that shit. I'm just telling you, you can't hate that shit. Because that's the shit that we were watching when we were like 12. It doesn't make any sense to the older generation. But now that we're not 12, you know, you could still walk into like some kind of bar that only sells double IPAs. And if you just started going like badger, 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 badger like some kid, well, somebody who was a kid in 2004 would come up to you and go like fucking mushroom, mushroom. And then some like really tall guy with a Legend of Zelda Triforce shirt that's green with a yellow Triforce and then khaki shorts would come over and go, snake, snake. No, oh, it's a snake. And then like somebody else would come over and go, you know, like to burn in a day. We'd say, we'd say, Justin, Justin, that's a different video. That's not the right video, Justin. And he'd be like, I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. Then I'm dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. These are, I'm just saying, people are talking about kids these days. Uh, oh, what, what the hell are they watching? Skibbity toilet. We were watching Skibbity toilet in our own way as kids, just by any other name would smell as sweet. What do you think Jen Beta is gonna watch? I have no idea. I don't even know what Jen Alpha is. Is Jen Alpha like my niece? She's 12? Right now, I'm, I, I love my nieces, okay? I got nothing against them. And keep in mind, they're 12 years old. They have really bad taste in media. They watched... <laughs> I feel so bad saying this, but it's so true. They... When I... We went over to their house, I don't know, like two months ago. They were watching, of their own free will, they were watching the Jennifer Garner film Yes Day on Netflix about uh, a, an alternate day where parents are sick of their kids hating them because they say no all the time. So instead, the parents say yes to everything, even the dumbest questions of all time. And the only other person that I've heard say that he watched that movie was Dan. I'm just saying, okay? It sounds fun. It's not, you as a parent, you would understand. I know I'm pulling the as a parent card. But when you're 12, you're like, I'm sick of my mom saying no to me. Well, then stop asking to do shit that's going to like break your clavicle. Like, stop asking to, like, do a cartwheel out of your second-story window and shit like that. Or, like, it's 9 p.m. on a Tuesday. No, we can't go to, like... Six Flags Cedar Point tonight. Why? This is fucking, it's closed and we don't live in Ohio. Like, of course we can't. It's just a ridiculous question. We need to have like at least a little bit of, at least a few weeks of uh, prep time before we could say, yes, we're going to Cedar Point. I didn't call Dan dumb. I said, I implied that he has the same taste in media as my 12 year old niece. But I'm not the one who forced him to watch yesterday. That's something he's got to reconcile with himself. Like, it's not slander. I'm not saying that Dan loves the same movies that my 12-year-old niece likes. I'm saying that Dan loved the movie that my 12-year-old niece watched. I don't know if she liked it. She's pretty smart, so I have my doubts. Are you cameraman or skibbity toilet? Um, I'm, I honestly, I think I'm cameraman. Because I love Everybody Wants to Rule the World by, uh, by Tears for Fears, which is the, the song most canonically associated with Cameraman. I'm gonna just going to go ahead and say it. I've only seen like two Skibbity Toilets. I think that Skibbity Toilet is better than the average source filmmaker video from the early 2010s. And they should be, because like, you know, this generation, they got access to more tools and like they grew up watching YouTube poops and stuff like that. Whereas, you know, when people my age were making Source Filmmaker, it was always like, oh, they, they got me moving off the steel. 
What if the spy caught the what if the heavy caught the spy fucking his wife? Number nine, Super Samsa. Who's also his gun, I think? I don't know. I'm not familiar with all the lore. Skibbity Toilet is like um It's a good surreal surreal meme, man. Well, good might not be the word I would use, but I it's got something going on. There's a little auteur theory in there. What kind of source filmmaker videos were you watching? Uh, Half-Life, Full-Life Consequences? Oh. oh, no, no, no. That's Gmod, you poser. Sorry. I didn't know. I missed a wrinkle in the, in the skibbity toilet, by the way. The camera man... When he has an army of cameramen, they're not just marching to stop the G-Man skibbity toilets. They're all doing orange justice as well, which is a nice, a nice wrinkle, I think. How many of your viewers have you think seen skibbity toilet? Is that how English works? Sorry, you wrote it perfectly fine. I did not write it well at all. Skibbity toilet kind of great. Did you see Green Text Reposter tweeted, be me, um... I eat weed edibles. I got kicked out of school, so I had to move back in with my parents. Eat edible, watching SpongeBob, laughing so hard. My cousin in the eighth grade came over and said, why are you laughing so hard? This is a kid's show. Cousin told my parents that I'm a man child. Now everybody laughs at me and says, you need to grow up. And all the replies were like, if your family doesn't appreciate SpongeBob, you need to move out immediately. <laughs> Oh, man, it got me good. I'm not saying you can't laugh and watch Spongebob, but people were like, disown your parents. If your parents don't respect your hobby of eating edibles and watching Spongebob, you need to get a, your own apartment. I also saw somebody say that Spongebob is the only media from that era that will be remembered in 60 years. I was like, um, excuse me, somebody hasn't seen the first three seasons of Two and a Half Men. Imagine you went into your airplane toilet and it was skibbity toilet okay what happened there <laughs> oh that, it's the other viable build while well, everybody else is scaling the the tiger or the tiger croc parrot goes insane and you're about to get flushed down the skibbity toilet and ejected from the hatch of a boeing 787 but then cameraman grabs you on the shoulder and you hear the liminal space of uh, There's a room where the light won't find you Holding hands while the walls come tumbling And he says, don't worry, and then he flushes the skibbity toilet And then you come out of the airplane bathroom And everybody in rows A through P is a cameraman and, But then there's a little Easter egg at the end of the, like in, in row Q, L-M-N-O-P-Q, you see one little skibbity toilet head pop out and then it fades to black. And it, holy fuck, did you see? It looked like it was good, but I think on the flight there was still one skibbity toilet left at the end. What does this mean? Anyway, toddlers watch that shit all the time. Bro, it's not toddlers, it's like 12 year olds. I'll, I can tell you what toddlers are watching because my kid had her iPad in um, offline mode. So it only had like the six videos she watched most recently while we were camping. They were all YouTube shorts. Holy man. Try to guess what movie I am making. Your first clue is a dragon head. Your second clue is a dragon wing. If you didn't get this one, IDK, brah. And it was obviously it was how to train your dragon. But like and she doesn't know that she's fucking too... She's 2.93 or something. She's only, uh, the only movie she's ever seen is all of the Toy Stories a thousand times. So, so I gotta ask, like, I will say like your tweets lately, I, I've seen it seen as like very curated Ryan, you know, like very, very thoughtful, like in the lab versus like off the cuff. Yeah. But what the heck, and, and like, I know I'm out of the loop. Like I had to ask you about gas, but what the heck is skibbity toilet? <laughs> Skibbity toilet is the new uh, hotness YouTube trend for Generation Alpha, which is people that are like, I don't know, maybe like 5 to 20. By the way, can you imagine being 20 and being lumped in with 5-year-olds? 
<laughs> that's gotta hurt. But then, like, as 34-year-olds, I'm like, you're basically the same. I mean, you're not basically the same, but you will be in, like, 10 years. Anyway, long story short, Skibbity Toilet is a, um... It's a is series... that how you say it? Skibbity Toilet, yeah. Okay, alright. It's a series of, um, videos where... It made in Source Filmmaker, so basically, like, kind of Gary's Mod type stuff, <laughs> um, <laughs> where, uh... Characters pop out of a toilet saying skibbity and it's kind of like it's a it's a horror type thing going on And there's a variety of skibbity toilets that range in power The G-man skibbity toilet is canonically the most powerful and then there's also <laughs> Cameraman cameraman is is kind of the protagonist's helper. He's like the green ranger if you will So he helps to protect you from the skibbity toilets usually by flushing them <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is this I like don't, a I've failed to see what's so humorous, but... <laughs> I just thought you, how you know all this deep lore. It's, it's, our, it's our business. It's, uh, it's our industry. So is it like modern day... Um, what was the uh, MCN you used to be with? Oh, Machinima. <laughs> yeah, it's like modern day Machinima? I think that's a realistic comparison. It's just, so, you know, every generation has its own insane stuff that they use as like a bonding experience with each other. And this is Skibbity Toilet. Skibbity Toilet, yeah. I don't think I, I fail to see what's so unusual about it. I mean, it's a little <laughs> yeah. unusual, I suppose, because it's like, you know, <laughs> it's one of the weirdest things I think I've ever seen that has become popular, but... So, uh, not current events, but you tweeted something about like Joe Biden's Skibbity Toilet or something. <laughs> That tweet was in the voice of uh, former president Donald J. Trump. The idea okay. being that in 2024 he might be able to capture some of the Zoomer demographic by talking about Skibbity Toilet. And wouldn't oh. that wouldn't that be funny? I just was reading it and I didn't I didn't get it. But now I, I guess I, I have to go back and read it. And then you dropped an Oppenheimer Skibbity Toilet thing, right? Um, I don't know if the Oppenheimer tweet was related to Skibbity Toilet, but I hear what you're saying. Oh. I've been cooking lately. Yeah, you've been... <laughs> <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. We were even pretty close to a straight flush on that one, but... <clears throat> I did not say skibbity flush, okay? Did I? <laughs> That's nine, ten. You did? No, I said... I said straight flush. Don't lie to me, Walt. Tomo, get out of the cords! Don't start the singing, then you can't stop. So true. When you were young, you were the king of Austin Powers. And now you kidnap Nigel Powers as his foe to get the man of mystery to show. This is the room one afternoon where Fat Bastard ate you. And how Felicity Shagwell shagged him real well. To place a homing device where no one dared to dwell.